All right, we're back, and we're going to watch The Infinite Vulcan, an episode of Star Trek. I'm going to move this bowl of ice cream away so I can operate my computer. So, who wrote this episode of Star Trek, the animated series? Well, I'm about to tell you. <sighs> Is written by a Walter Koenig. I have. Wait, wait, wait. This is not going to work. I need to do this in time. Uh, let's get. Oh, uh, come on. He says as he tries to furiously look for. There it is. Uh, I have no idea who the. Oh, God, that's. That is very large, isn't it? Uh, fit screen. I have no idea who that man is. No idea. I've never met that man in my life. Uh, <laughs> no idea who that Walter Keenig is. Um, yeah. So that's who wrote this episode of Star Trek. Uh, as always, this episode was directed by Hal Sutherland. Because it's a first season episode of Star Trek, the animated series. And obviously... I joke, yeah, it's Chekhov from TOS. He, unfortunately, it was ne never appeared in the series. Um, but got a, a writing credit on one episode. So he's technically here. So, yeah, when did this episode air? I hear you asking. You're like screaming at your screens. You're like, well, this episode aired on the 20th of October, 1973. And what happened on this very day? Well, I'm about to tell you. Uh, Mariette Tartley appears on the Bob Newhart show in the episode How You Met Dis Diets. The fuck is that? Like, he got that. Like, no one knows what the fuck that is. And it cuts to the next one. It's like, oh, yeah. Queen Elizabeth II opens the Sydney fucking Opera House. It's like, this is a, that, that's an actual story. What the fuck is the Bob Newhart show? I don't fucking know. No one knows what that is. Uh, the Family Station Inc. buys a shortwave radio station. WNY, WNYW. Uh, changes call letters to WYFR and moves station from New York to Sustatuate. Saskatchewan, Massachusetts. Okay. President Nixon accepts the resignation of uh, Attorney General Elliot L. Richardson and Deputy Attorney General William D. Ruckusurus, uh as they refuse to discharge Watergate Special Prosecutor uh, Archibald Cox in what was known as the Saturday Night Massacre. After the resignations, Acting Attorney General Robert uh, Bork fires Cox. Ha <laughs> ha. Cox. Anyway, um, sports history. US President Nixon proclaims Jim Thorpe to have been the greatest athlete of the first half of the 20th century. I mean, it's not much of a good accolade when it's coming from Nixon, is it? <sighs> Famous birthdays, we only got one. It is Scott Goodman, an Australian 200 meter butterfly swimmer who won bronze uh, the Olympics in 1960, 1996. Well, I was going to say 1966. A whole fucking nine years before he was born. It's very impressive. Uh, not nine, 1966 would have been. Seven years. I'm bad at this. Uh, Canadian actor William Shatner? Where's Marcy Lef Lefty? I don't know who that, that William Shatner is. Never heard of him. I, 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 I'm one of these obscure actors that no one's ever heard of. Um, Angie... By the Rolling Stones is the number one song in the US. And the number one song in the UK is Eye Level by Simon Park Orchestra. And that is everything that happened on this day of Star Trek. 
Right, let's start watching this episode so I don't have to listen to the theme constantly going off in my ears. That would be nice. This episode here is 24 minutes and 8 seconds, and we shall get started in 3, 2, 1, boom. And I will enjoy this ice cream with peanut butter on top. Bum, 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 bum. It's my own concoction. Concoction, concop, cop, 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 do. Words are hard to say from my mouth. I don't know how to say words at my mouth. Words are hard. Boldly go where no man has gone before. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. I do remember this episode as I saw the thing. It's got giant Spock. Spock. Yeah, giant Spock. I remember giant Spock. We eventually see his uh, his skeleton in the uh, in lower decks, which, to be fair, is a lot later on. So, I guess I guess he doesn't live as long as Spock. Well, then again, I can't remember how long Spock lived, because obviously Spock dies between. Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness and Star Trek Beyond, um, because Leonard Nimoy had died. Um, so I try to remember. I try to remember what year Star Trek, uh, the first uh, Star Trek, well, eleven, um, is based in, to kind of work out how long Spock would live for. But I'm pretty sure Lower Decks is after, no, before. Uh, the uh the star of the Star Trek movie. <laughs> Mr. Sulu, stay here. I love Mr. Sulu is just like kind of pissed. Like oh, I don't want to stay here. Oh, yes, must have been. Mm. Sulu groans. Uh, uh. One minute to live. Ah, I'll just try random stuff. Fuck it, I'm a coy. I do whatever I want. I'm called Agma. I don't know what they are. They're crazy. Dalian Dewdrop. I was like, Boy, Bones, let him help. Either they fuck, either Sulu dies, or we let him help. It's like, that's not much of a choice. Hmm. Oh, not the rep lob pant. Hmm. 
Mm. <laughs> I love that. I'm sorry, Agma, but I don't like puzzles. Please explain your entire race to me. And what the fuck is up with you people? It's like, dude, just... just <laughs> I get it, but also... Um... Ah, uh, fucking humans always bring in sickness and death. Hmm. No, just, look at that thing. It's got fucking noodle legs. Look at that. It's got noodle legs. Whoop. It's stealing the captain. We got your captain. Bye. We got Sulu McCoy. Bye. <laughs> it's just like one of my Japanese animes. Yoink. Bestow your spark. Bye. Mm. Praise her, master. I just love the, the way they said, I praise her, everybody, and praise his master. Hi. Ah, Dr. Stavlos Knicklis 5. He's my favorite. I have his essence. Oh my. Oh god, not the noodle arms. Not the noodle arms. Cook, there seems to be uh Oh, Captain, there seems to be one of you missing. Yes, I'm aware. Spark has been taken. Mm. Goddamn caniculus. Never trust that man. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of details about this episode. Mm. What you got? What you got planned? You'll have it within the hour.
Mm. Ah, the eugenics wars. Always the, the eugenics wars. These guys won't shut up about it. Mm. Time after time. Time after time. Hmm. It's crazy. I you, sir, but I don't like it. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, of course. I can't believe it. Mm. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> you don't want to hurt me, and yet you somehow just like, you just snuck up behind me and just went like, nope, got him. Oh no. Mm. Keep that bag handy. What, your mother? What? No, shit. Ah, God damn it, Sulu. <laughs> Got him again. <laughs> God damn it. Ooh. Ooh. Six hundred times denser than lead. Fuck you know. Good luck. Good luck for Superman trying to see through that shit. Ah, the boat lights. Agua. Goddamn noodle legs. Ah, it's the noodle legs. Gotta watch out for the noodle legs. Get damn noodle legs. <gasps> Did someone steal his brain again? Will people stop stealing his brain? Hmm. 
the dawning of a new era. Spock 2. Hey, Spock 2. Hey, Spock 1. I've got no noodle legs. <gasps> Quick, the face masks. Guess him. Take that, noodle legs. We ain't having any of your shit. Great granddaddy's weed spray. I mean, yeah. That walls! That was weird. Looked like Mc uh, not McCoy, uh, Sulu just his head was detached. Mm. Woo. Yeah, can't don't let him die. You answer them. Yeah, Knickulous. Hey, you guys remember the eugenics walls? Hmm.
Look out, it's plants. Sulu, hit him. You've killed Spock. Oops. To your mind, my thoughts, to your thoughts. Again, Tula looks like he's lost his head. Mm. Or you'll die. Hey, bring back the flosions. <laughs> I love the fact that the previous episode mentioned about two spots. And literally, they got two spots. You're the most scrutable man. What? What does that even mean? I don't... Inscrutable? I'm going to have to look it up. I, I literally have no idea what that mean, word means. Inscrutable. Ins nope, that's, a, that's just insertable. That is not what I want. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Terrible. Capable of being injured against lo loss. Capable of... Wait, capable of being insured against loss damage or... Insurable? No, that's insurable. Ah, fuck's sake. I don't know. Anyway, that's enough about that. Uh, for now I say live long and pro- Oh, let me get this thing. Let me queue up what the next episode says. Ow, and I went all the way to the butt up. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, I can eject this while I, while I do this. Next episode is... A very long one. Let's put that on two lines, because that's a... Uh... Ah. The magic, magicus of Megas 2. So that's the episode we're going to watch next. But for now, I say live long and prosper. And hopefully I'll see you for that episode right there.